Entrapment is a loaded word because it conjures up negative feelings about government wrongdoing, but it's not necessarily the case as the government sees it and as uh, courts have interpreted it over the years. The, uh, basically, the, the issue of entrapment comes into play when the government or law enforcement induces someone to commit a crime they would have otherwise not, not wanted to do, been unlikely to do. And remember, law enforcement, undercover uh, agents, set up traps and stings and lie to people every day. And there's not necessarily anything wrong with it. Because society doesn't want the government to induce people to commit crimes they wouldn't otherwise do, they've created certain defenses to certain crimes. And entrapment is an affirmative defense, which means that even if you've done what the government alleges you did, then you still may have a defense of entrapment depending on the facts. So an example of entrapment would be if a DEA agent came to someone and asked them to deliver a package of cocaine, and without hesitation, the person accepted, wanted to know how much they would get paid for it. That would show that that person had a predisposition to commit the crime, and the entrapment defense wouldn't be available to them. However, if that person refused the offer and didn't want to, they, but the DEA agent kept on pressuring them and eventually they, they agreed, but they really didn't want to. That's a situation where the defense may apply. And if you've been uh, um, alleged to have committed a crime, it's important to see a lawyer. We at Weisberg, Kane and Mark have handled all types of criminal uh, matters and we have a lot of experience in criminal defense and when a tr entrapment may or may not apply.